This is Denny Thompson from Rocky Ford, Colorado, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the reason why she chose to participate in Colorado's conservation easement program. Denny, can you first give us a little history about how you ended up in Rocky Ford? Yes, I would. I am originally from Imperial Valley in Southern California. I was born and raised there. It's a farming and ranch community, basically, uh, totally dependent upon Colorado River water. Um, my husband was actually from Rocky Fort, or from Lahana and Shira area. He was born and raised here and moved away as a young man. Um, he had had a serious car accident and become disabled in 1995. And it took us three years to get that resolved. And then in 1998, we decided we needed a change of pace, so we moved out here and bought this little small farm. It's on 28 acres. I went to work for Otero County Commissioner's Office uh, within two weeks of moving here. And um, this, life was great. And then in 2002, I actually lost him to, to cancer. Uh, changed my life. I didn't know what I was going to do. My mom was here in the area. She'd already moved out here from California uh, to be close to me. And I just decided that, well, I've got a good job. I'm going to stick around. Um, I like the, the rural lifestyle, very much like what I came from, and uh, decided to make my life here. Can you tell us what future rights to your land you gave up by participating in the conservation easement program? I can. Um, I actually gave up the right to subdivide, to develop, a uh, right to mine uh, gravel or minerals, the right to uh, have a feedlot or have a landfill, paving. Um, but my most precious right is the right to separate my water from the land. So this farm actually has to be kept in agricultural production forever. I can't, have, I can't do any industrial um, production on this property, so that's my rights that I have given up. And how did you choose the appraiser who did your conservation easement? Well, uh, in 2002, after my husband passed away, the Otero County Commissioner's Office, or the Otero County uh, Commissioners, uh, started structuring a conservation easement program in Otero County in order to save the water and keep the water uh, from leaving the valley. Uh, we were losing, losing tax base and the ecosystem. Uh, we, Crowley County, had already uh, separated a lot of their water from the land, and it's been tragic. And it, I think it was nationwide where you saw where they had this tragic fire last year, lost two firefighters, and just about lost the whole town. And th these are things they were trying to protect. Well. Um, during that process, I kind of watched it grow, lived, working for the county, and I chose to go ahead and do, donate an easement on my property. Well, as far as choosing the appraiser, when I selected to uh, start participating in this program that the commissioners were offering, um, they handed out a packet to anybody that was interested. So I got that packet and I did my homework, and I looked into the appraisers and all the other things that I were part required uh, for don donating my easement. And um, there was a, a listing of appraisers in there. And my appraiser that I finally selected was on that list. However, I didn't just select him from the list. I did my homework. I found out that he was a, a certified general appraiser, which is a qualification uh, that is required, that he had actually done appraisals for the state, that he had already uh, done appraisals in the conservation easement field. He had done appraisals for the Palmer Land Trust and for the Colorado Cattle Association. Therefore, that's why I felt securely that Mr. John Stroh was qualified. I didn't know him or hadn't talked to him before the time that I uh, uh, asked for his services and before the day that he actually came out uh, to appraise my property.